Okay, so Tesla stock is doing a strong bearish reaction today after slashing Model S and X prices again. However, Tesla is crashing alone while the indices and other mega cap stocks are doing just fine. So will this correction be short-lived like many others or could this trigger a real crash that could make Tesla seek much lower levels? Well, let's take a look. This is a critical time for Tesla stock, so let's start our technical analysis over here looking at the daily chart. In the daily chart, we are still bullish. The main bias is still bullish. Yes, we have been doing some sideways movement over here, but as far as I know, this is just a flag of a bullish flag over here. Recently, last week, we retested the bottom level of this flag and right now we are trying to react. Honestly, despite the bearish reaction today, it is quite good to see Tesla holding just above the 21 EMA in the daily chart over here. This is good. This is a good indicator. What's the main problem with this bullish thesis? Well, the main problem is that although the indices are up, the S&P is up, we see a top sign over here. The S&P is doing, it is trying to do a shooting star candlestick pattern, could be a gravestone OG candlestick pattern as well, I don't know. Either way, this is a top sign under a resistance level at 4060, the previous bottom level over here. This might indicate that the index is about to trigger a short-term correction. The Nasdaq index is doing a similar movement. We just feel it this gap over here and right now we see a shooting star slash gravestone doji candlestick pattern indicating pullback ahead even the dow jones is doing a bearish candlestick pattern today so yes we see some bearish indicators and if the broad market corrects over here probably tesla is going to correct along with it. In this scenario, I see Tesla retesting the previous bottom level at 187 again in the daily chart. Is this going to trigger a new bearish leg over here? Not necessarily, because as long as Tesla remains above this support level, this area, this entire area, right? Tesla could drop to this area over here. And that's okay. As long as we don't lose this support level, Tesla will just remain inside this congestion, inside this possible bullish flag over here, and the situation will remain under control. Again, only if we lose the 187, I see Tesla correcting to lower levels, because in this scenario, we are gonna do a downwards breakout from a bullish flag, completely frustrating this chart pattern over here. In addition, there is also the possibility of a head and shoulders chart pattern over here in the daily chart, indicating that yes, if we lose this support level, this might be the neckline of this head and shoulders. If we lose this support level, then I believe Tesla is going to retest 146, filling this gap over here. But right now, we are above the support level at 187. What's more, we are above the 21 EMA as well in the daily chart. So. The situation is not necessarily bearish. We see a bearish reaction, but Tesla is not bearish yet. If the broad market corrects, I think this I think this pullback will persist a little bit longer, but only if we lose 187, Tesla will turn will actually turn bearish in the daily chart. If we take a look at the 1 hour chart over here, uh, we are correcting. It feels like Tesla wants to feel this gap over here, right? To fill this gap at 191.50. One, one one so Tesla could drop more. It still could drop more from here. But uh, it is important to see a meaningful bullish reaction over here around the 190, the 187. Because if we lose the support level, Tesla might turn bearish for good. Now, let's take a quick look at options over here. Options wise, we see two big spikes over here, puts at 190 and calls at $200. Right now, Tesla is at 194, so we are right there in the middle over here. If Tesla breaks one of these two key points over here, then we might see a sharper reaction, but right now we are right there 
in the middle. The maximum pain is at 195, so yes, the situation is quite critical for Tesla. But we are still slightly optimistic, not only chart-wise, because we see a bullish flag, we are in the bottom level of, of a bullish flag, we did a bullish reaction last week, but because the put call ratio right here, right here, is 0.76 for options expiring this Friday. So it feels like despite the warning signs on the broad market, Tesla is still, short term speaking, more bullish than bearish. The sentiment is still more bullish than bearish. The volume on calls strike at 200, at 200 spike it over here today. So yes, it feels like despite today's reaction, investors are still quite optimistic on Tesla. Maybe because we are in a support level, maybe because Tesla is such a great company. I don't know. I don't need to know in order to trade well. And to gain access to many options strategies, check my website. The link is in the description of this video. Many services join the top 5% of traders that can actually make money while beating this market. The link is in the description. Now, back to Tesla's charts over here, let me see, right here. Okay, so we are doing a bearish reaction, but we are still above critical support levels. We are still above the 21 MA, we are way above the 187, way above the 190, which is option options-wise a support level. So, okay, it feels like the situation is under control for now. In the weekly chart, in the weekly chart, we are still trapped between the 50% retracement and the 38.2% retracement over here. So as long as we don't see any crystal clear breakout from these key points, from these key retracements over here, Tesla is not going to do anything meaningful. So yes, this reaction is quite problematic indeed, but it is not necessarily because we see bearish reaction today, but because we are still trapped inside this congestion over here, between key support and key resistance levels. Only if Tesla breaks 214, we are gonna resume the bullish bias, and only if we lose 187, we are going to reverse the bullish sentiment over here. So let's pay extra attention on these key points from now on. And of course, if you are still not my subscriber, come on, what the hell are you still doing here? Subscribe this channel, probably you like it, the content. Join our community. Thank you very much for your audience. My dear friends, I'm gonna keep you guys updated every single day on this. Thank you very much. Stay safe. Bye-bye.